Uh, see, uh, what is solids? Solids is a specification for developing web applications with Java programming language. Okay. What is web application? It is a distributed application which runs on browser and server. Okay. What is distributed application? Installed on one computer, runs on many computers. That is called distributed. How many types of web application? Two types. What are those? Static, dynamic. Uh, static web application, is it common to all users or specific to user? Uh, dynamic web application, specific to user. Uh, static means already prepared. Dynamic, uh, dynamic means whenever request comes, then prepared. Uh, static resides in server, runs in dynamic resides in runs in server. Uh, whenever request comes to static publication, what will happen? Sends a program to a browser. Uh, whenever request comes to dynamic publication, executes a program, sends the output to a browser. Okay. On. Can we develop static application only with HTML? Dynamic? No. We record Java. Okay. So let's we are going to use. On. Browser. You have seen. Browser is a software which executes web pages containing text, image, graphics, animation. These all. Okay. Now server required. On. Next write it. Server. A server is a software that receives requests from the client, comma, process the request, comma, constructs the response and sends the response to a client. A server is a software that receives requests from the client, comma, process the request, comma, constructs the response and sends the response back to a client and sends the response back to a client. A server is a software that receives requests from the client comma process the request constructs the response and sends the response back to a client any software receiving request processing request constructing response sending response back that is called server uh, there are two types of servers There are two types of servers. First one, web servers. Second one, application servers. There are two types of servers. First one, web servers. Second one, application servers. There are two types of servers. First one, web servers. Second one, application servers. 
uh, web servers. A web server is a server which contains only web container. A web server is a server which contains only web container. A web server is a server which contains only web container. So there are two types of servers are there. First one web servers, second one application servers, web servers. A web server is a server which contains only web container, which contains only web container. Say server is a software that receives requests from the client, processes the request, constructs the response, sends the response back to a client. That is server. There are two types of servers, web servers, application server. Web servers means which contains only web container. Uh, web container contains web components. Web components are solid and JSPs. Web components are solid and JSPs. Same. A web server is a server which contains only web container. So, so web container, container is one part, part inside the server. server. Web container, container contains, contains web components. components. Web components, components nothing, nothing but solids and JSPs. Is it all? Uh, see. see, like, like this, this will be there. there. Uh, see, there only web container. Oh. So. Web container. Uh, it, it is a web server. Here, uh, here. Solids, solids JSPs. These are web components. See, JSP, solid, solid, JSP. Solid JSP is this all. So, web server one software in that web container will be there. Container contains web components. So web server software contains web container. Web container software contains web components. Nothing but solid programs and JSP programs. So it is one software. In this software, it is one part. In that part, web components will be placed. So solid, if you want to place container required. 
the container is available in web server. Solid will run here. Now, is it over? So solid programs, JSP programs, and the filter programs, these all spring MVC starts, these all comes under web components. These all will run in web container software. Web container is a software available in web server software like this. Okay. Uh, now, next write it list of web servers. List of web servers. List of web servers. List of web servers. Tomcat web server. iPlanet web server. Java web server. Personal web server. Jetty web server. Resin web server. So like this, so many servers are there. Dash dash, etc. Even our India server also is there. Pramati web server. These all web servers. Tomcat, iPlanet, Java, Personal, Jetty, Resin, Pramati. These all web servers. List of web servers. Uh, there are two types of servers are there web servers and application servers now second one application servers an application server is a server which contains both Web container and EJB Enterprise Java Beans container. An application server is a server which contains both web container and EJB container. An application server. An application server is a server which contains both web container and EJB container. Two containers will be there here. An application server is a server which contains both web container and EJB container. Two containers. Uh, now, application server is a server which contains both web container and EJB container. Two containers will be there. Is it over? Uh, see the diagram here. Web container, EJB container. It is application server. Uh, here, 
solids will be there j space will be there here solids will be there j space will be there uh, here only ejbs will be there uh, right is all Uh, these are called web components. These are called business components. So, Soulet runs in web container. Web container available in web server also, application server also. So, any server we can use. But if you want to run EJB, enterprise applications, then compulsory application server required. If you want to run EJBs, EJB container required. Then application server only we have tried. Now any server we can use for Solid program. For Solid program, any server we can use. Oh, is it over? So in this server, two containers are there. One is web container, one more EJB container. Web container contains web components. EJB container contains EJBs, business components. These are complete business related application. Money related applications, money transactions will be there. For that, enterprise Java beans required. EJBs. It is fully secured application concept. That is Spring Enterprise. Later we'll see. Uh, is it over? Uh, now, list of application servers. list of application servers web logic application server web sphere application server sun one application server jboss application server now we are calling like a wild fly that name changed glassfish application server these are application servers
list of application servers. List of application servers. Uh, is it over? Uh, now, Soulit runs in which container? Web container. Web container is available in both the servers. Uh, write it. Soulit runs in. Soulit runs in web container. Web container available in web container, uh, web server, and application server. Solid runs in web container. Web container available in web server and application server. Uh, now you can use web server also you can use application server also any one server you have to use now these servers also these servers also any server you can use okay solid runs in web container web container available in web server and application server that's what any server you can use not a problem any server okay uh, now, this server we are going to install, this server we are going to use, Tomcat server, okay? Uh, now, Solid runs in web container, web container available in web server and application server. Two servers, any server you can use, you are going to learn web servers here. After advanced Java, you are going to learn application servers. It, these are high level servers, application servers. Enterprise application purpose compulsory. Uh, now, uh, you already studied Soulit's definition. Uh, what is Soulit? Soulit is a specification for developing web applications with Java programming language. Okay. Uh, see, JDBC. What is JDBC? Specification for developing database application with Java programming language. Uh, you studied JDBC specification, nothing but rules and guidelines. Uh, now, JDBC specification used by vendors. JDBC specification used by Java programmers. Uh, now, JDBC specification used by vendors, what purpose? JDBC specification used by vendors. JDBC specification used by Java programmers. I given this point. Uh, JDBC specification used by vendors. What purpose? To develop drivers. I given. JDBC specification used by vendors to develop drivers. Without driver, is it possible? No. Here, without web container, is it possible? Uh, so, Soulit's specification used by vendors to develop web container. Soulit's specification used by Java programmers to develop web application. Uh, write that point. Soulit's specification used by vendors to develop web containers. Solid's specification used by vendors to develop web container. Solid's specification used by vendors, used by Java programmers to develop web applications.
solids specification used by vendors to develop web container solid specification used by java programmers to develop web applications solids specification used by vendors to develop web container solids specification used by java programmers to develop web applications see it is a specification uh, rules and guidelines will be there uh, this is a specification solids uh, it is solids it is specification it contains rules and guidelines seeing these rules and guidelines web container developed web container developed uh, how many web containers are there many containers are there because different servers are there server vendors uh, see this specification given by sun microsystem company this container developed by apache company ibm company different companies different companies different containers developed and uh, seeing this specification you are going to develop web application you are going to develop web application okay this web application you will run in web container then it will understand so seeing these rules and guidelines you have to develop this application then only this application executed in container because this container developed with these rules only and now suppose you don't want to follow these rules and guidelines you want to develop your own style will it container understands no here java programmer only two options either you follow rules and guidelines or you develop container uh, so can you develop container no then follow rules and guidelines okay only two options either develop container or follow rules and guidelines uh, you cannot develop container then follow rules and guidelines because web container software already developed web container understandable format you have to write your program if you want to write your own style it is not possible because this container should understand if container not understands means it will not execute not execute means your program will not run you will not get output okay so seeing this solid specification different companies different containers developed but all containers follows these rules that's what your java program is platform independent because same rules and guidelines will be there in every container that's what seeing these rules and guidelines only you have to develop your application your then your application will run in container okay uh, that's for that is solids so solids is a specification the specification we are going to use what purpose to develop web application in this specification only how to develop container will be there in this specification only how to develop web application will be there uh, what you are going to learn how to develop container or how to develop web application how to develop web application you are going to learn okay so in that specification 70 percent how to develop container will be there 30 percent how to develop web application will be there in that 30 percent just 10 percent if you learn it is a more than enough okay complete no need to learn uh, so specifications thousands of pages will be there one one specification okay uh, now how to develop web application you are going to learn in this okay uh, now before going to this developing application which was first specification for developing internet application that is i'll compare with this one say internet introduced in 1990 internet introduced in 1990 java came and exists in the market 1995 okay solids came and exists in the market 1996 97 like that 
so solid specification after java so initially only programming language came later solid specification introduced solid also many specifications many versions are there so solid version history if you type first site only wikipedia site appears this is in this wikipedia site see observe solid's latest specification on oh, this is java double given uh, solid's uh, 6.0 version latest 7 months ago okay uh, this is changed java solid plus jakarta solid i'll explain uh, so here it comes under java double java double now we are calling like a jakarta double uh, now this is changed uh, now solid specification see solid's versions see latest version 6.0 see solid 4.0 up to 4.0 java was there later jakarta they given word jakarta also indonesian island name java also indonesian island name okay uh, now java double it 10th version came in that 6.0 solids see 1.0 when it is introduced in december 1996 okay so 96 december 97 january at the time released 96 december uh, so first java came later solids came so 1990 internet came 1995 java came 1996 solids came but before solids only internet was there but for developing internet application which specification they used uh, there was up to 96 one specification was popular cgi common gateway interface this was one specification was there this was popular before solids when solids came it is outdated why uh, this is they may ask in interview that's what you have to learn write it cgi versus solids one side cgi common gateway interface cgi versus solids one side C cgi one more side solids common gateway interface uh, first difference cgi is a specification for developing web applications with c c++ perl dash dash etc cj is a specification for developing web applications with c c++ perl dash dash etc solids is a specification for developing web applications with the java programming language cj is a specification for developing web applications with c c++ perl dash dash etc solids is a specification for developing web applications with java programming language see 
C J supports multiple languages. C C plus plus Perl many languages. What are the languages already exist? With those languages, they developed internet applications. But solids only one programming language that is Java. Okay. Uh, but why it is outdated? C J. Uh, right it. C J based web server. creates a new process for every request solids based web server creates a new process For very first request only. And, and remaining, remaining requests. requests. So let's base the server for a new, new process for very first request, request only and remaining requests. requests. Are handled by, by child processes. So let's base the server for a new process for very, 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 for very first request only. And remaining requests are handled by child processes, nothing but red threads. Red threads. So, so this, this is the main difference between Solid and CJ. With this is only CJ outdated. outdated. I'll explain when. CJ is based on the server ADS new, new process for every request. Every request. So, so Solid is based on the server ADS new, new process for very, very first request, request only. And, and many many requests are handled by child processes. But what are the threading you study now? Threads. Child process. See, suppose uh, it is CJ based server. server. Here, one CGI, CJ one. Here, one more CJ. Uh, so, two CJ programs are there. Uh, these programs are present in CJ based web server. Uh, now, here request came. Request, suppose like this, five requests came. Uh, assume five requests like this request came here request for cj1 uh, it is a request for cj2 uh, it is a request for cj1 Uh, again, request for CJ2. Uh, request for CJ1. Total, how many requests came to CJ1? Three. Uh, request to uh, CJ2, two requests. But what will happen is every request, new process. 
like again five process five process created this is process for cj1 uh, so every request separate process uh, process for cj2 uh, process for cj3 uh, process for cj4 Uh, process for CJ5. Uh, CJ, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, I given. Uh, process for CJ, uh, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1. Uh, see, One, two. Okay. Uh, now, here, suppose in this server, two CJs are there. Total number of requests are 1000. Then how many process? 1000. So every request, new process. Like this. Suppose if it is solids. If it is solids. Uh, suppose we have two solids. Uh, suppose two solids are there. Uh, solid one, solid two. Two solids are there. Uh, here, solids based web server. Solids based web server. Uh, now, same style, five requests here. Assume uh, five requests. So request, first request for solid one, solid two, solid one, solid two, like that I'll give. Uh, now, it is request for solid one. Uh, here, request for solid two. Okay. Uh, request for Solid one. Uh, request for solid two. Uh, request for solid one. Like this we have. Uh, now, three requests for solid one, two requests for solid two. But here, how many process? Two process. Okay. Uh, it is process for solid one. Uh, next, process for solid two. Uh, so, here, when first request came to solid one, then one process created. When second request came to solid one, from that child process created, with that it will handle. Again, third request came to solid one. From that, again, child process created. That will handle. Like this, it will handle. Uh, suppose, here two CGAs, two CGAs, total 1,000 requests. Here, how many process? 1,000. Here, two solids. Here, total 1,000 requests. Here, how many process? Two only. It is, depends upon number of requests, number of process. Here depends upon number of solids, number of process. Uh, now, 1995, Java came. 1996, solids came. 1996, internet, how many people accessed? Very less. For one server, 10,000 requests also not there. 95, 96 only in Hyderabad introduced. Before that, internet was not there in Hyderabad. That means worldwide, many places it was not there. But now, small willy also internet is there. Okay. But long back, 1996 at that time, internet, Hyderabad just introduced it at that time. Then internet usage was very less. 
very few people they accessed internet because very costly even they do not know how to operate also they don't know what exactly internet also at that time okay very less number of people use it uh, now at that time one server 10000 requests also not there but now crores of requests coming still if it is cga is it possible to create those many process no server will become fail while creating these many process means say google server how many requests crores of requests coming but uh, still if it is cga is there every request new process means burden to processor that's what sowlets become as popular but here also crores of process with one process not possible what will happen is when first request comes uh, one process created suppose that processor that process capacity maximum 1000 suppose assume then 1000 created child process when 1001 request comes one more child process one more new process may be created load balancing purpose because that process will become weak then it cannot create new child then it will be terminated that main process also may be terminated so according to hardware software configuration one process capacity may be 1000 child process or 10000 child process up to that only created exact one will not be there okay because now crores of request coming only one process will not be there okay every 1000 one process or every 10000 one process may be created that is server administration one more course will be there tomcat administration web logic administration that is one more course that course if you want to learn java not required this course if you want to learn that is not required okay either that or this you can learn your learning java means that course is not required okay ah uh, that is also one course to handle these requests all those things okay uh, so exact one process will not be there load balancing purpose that may creates more than one uh, suppose here 10000 requests are there assume 10000 requests are there uh, one process can create 1000 child process only assume now uh, then how many main process created 10 created every 1000 one process that type got it uh, the diagram cj said this diagram solid said write it
so exact one will not be there load balancing purpose more than one may be created depends upon software capacity hardware capacity software configuration hardware configuration okay suppose one main process from that only maximum 10000 child process possible up to 1000 only created when 1001 comes one more may be created that type okay that it depends upon software configuration hardware configuration uh, but cga what will happen every request new process request for cj1 process for cj1 request for cj2 process for cj2 request for cj1 process for cj1 request for cj2 process for cj2 request for cj1 process for cj1 every request new process suppose 1000 requests are there 1000 process created that is burden to server so with this reason only cj was outdated main reason this is only okay why cg outdated is with this reason only long back internet usage was very less very less number of people used internet at that time it is handled but still cg is there it cannot handle these many requests 1990 internet 2023 internet same is there so much difference is there okay when internet was introduced at that time now the speed also cost also different all characteristics you observe how much improvement is there in internet so lot of difference is there 1990 internet 2023 internet okay even mobiles also 93 94 mobiles came that mobile 2023 mobile how much difference is there so many changes are there no it is technology which is going to be updated day by day you observe java also 1995 java 2023 java how much difference is there java also technology so java features so you studied no last uh, new features in java java 19 up to java 19 java 1 to java 19 nearly 25 30 features are there all you studied no like that so day by day they are updating day by day they are updating uh, is it over uh, see with this reason only cj outdated but if we compare first difference then cj better appears because multiple language supporting c also c plus plus also Perl also many other languages but it is supporting only java if you compare this one cj better appears but if you compare this one solid better appears uh, with this reason only solids become as popular it was boomed in the industry and the 96 only released 96 only it did become as popular like that okay after that in java applets concept is there but applets also outdated uh, now next write it applets versus solids applets versus solids Applets versus solids. Uh, one side applet, one side solids. One side applet, one side solid. All right, it an applet is a Java program. That resides in server. And runs in browser. A solid is a Java program 
that resides in server and runs in server only. An applet is a Java program that resides in server and runs in browser. A solid is a Java program that resides in server and runs in server only. An applet is a Java, an applet is a Java program, right? It. An applet is a Java program that resides in server and runs in browser. A solid is a Java program that resides in server and runs in server only. See, you studied if the program is residing in server and running in browser, that program is called static publication. The program is residing in server and running server is called dynamic web application. Okay. Uh, so it is like a static, it's like a dynamic. Uh, now applets are not on applets are used to extend the functionality applets are used to extend the functionality applets are used to extend the functionality of browser applets are used to extend the functionality of browser Uh, solids are used to extend the functionality of server. Applets are used to extend the functionality of browser. Solids are used to extend the functionality of server. So by using applets, we can extend the functionality of browser. By using solid, we can extend the functionality of server. Next. Now, applets are used to extend the functionality of browser. Solids are used to extend the functionality of server. Uh, see, uh, you studied static web application dynamic web application uh, that type only applets comes under static solid comes under dynamic that is resides in server runs in browser this is resides in server runs in server only uh, whenever request comes to applet a program program transferred to browser uh, whenever request comes to server solid program executed output only transferred those all again no need to give you studied okay with this first first difference only you can understand that one okay uh, but applets, applets, uh, do, uh, like programming related concepts, I'll give you now. Uh, applets do not have main method because applet runs in browser. Applets do not have main method because applet runs in browser. Solids do not have main method. Because solid runs in server. So no main method in applet, no main method in solid because Applet running in browser, solid running in server. Applets do not have main method because applet runs in browser. Solids do not have main method because solid runs in server. See, Previous all programs we written main method. 
because main be executed programs under operating system if you are running program under operating system main method required then operating system starts execution with main method and if you write the program applet solid programs these are main method not required suppose if you write main method also now where it will run browser browser doesn't know main method it will not execute so this solid program where it runs server server doesn't know main method if you write also no use it is treated as a normal method but where execution begins if main method is not there when all programs up to yes, uh, jdbc you studied only main method main method every day we written no uh, further main method is not required because programs are running on server but where execution begins for that separate methods are there those methods are called life cycle methods no no applet has a life cycle applet has a life cycle methods to run in browser solid has a life cycle solid has a life cycle methods to run in server applet has a life cycle methods to run in browser solid has a life cycle methods to run in server applet has a life cycle methods applet has a life cycle methods to run in browser solid has a life cycle methods to run in server next ah uh, see in applet program main method will not be there if you write also it is not executed because applet runs in browser browser doesn't know main method solid program also main method will not be there if you write also no use because servlet program runs in server server doesn't know main method it is not executed but execution purpose separate methods are there those methods are called life cycle methods okay uh, next write it fifth one life cycle of an applet life cycle of an applet life cycle of a solid no oh, life cycle of an applet life cycle of a solid now oh, here Uh, ready son Ready, son?
life cycle of an applet life cycle of a solid just write as it is as it is write it arrows also write it clearly i'll explain why arrows like that life cycle of an applet life cycle of a solid ha uh, is it over for ah uh, here first i'll give the notes after that this diagram i'll explain see with your eight messages only i i could chart box the trying to manage Like he, he, later I'll discuss my any doubts, doubts, doubts are there. Right, right, right. Don't forget to discuss and clarify your doubts. Doubt. Now see, see. Solid side, applied side. Uh, apple apple side. side. Oh, no, no. Uh, how, how many, many points, points are given? Five, five points. Ah, uh, six, six point. point. Uh, six, uh, six, not, not six point. point. That diagram, that point, point only. Right, right. That continuous, continuous only. Five point, point only. Ah, uh, here, here. In in the main method. Called, called, called by all sir. sir. Here, here. In the method called by all sir. Whenever. whenever Applet is loaded. loaded. Yeah, yeah. In, in it, online, online students. Later in the other session, I clarify for your doubts. So if I click on chart box, box this will be vanished. Uh, here, here, in it method called, called by browser when whenever applet is loaded. Start, start method. called by browser, browser. whenever applet is loaded and, and activated here init method called by browser whenever applet is loaded start method called by browser whenever applet is loaded and activated paint method called by browser whenever applet is loaded and activated stop method called by browser whenever applet is deactivated and close stop method call by browser whenever applet is deactivated and close it here init method called by browser whenever applet is loaded start method called by browser whenever applet is loaded and activated paint method called by browser whenever applet is loaded and activated stop method called by browser whenever applet is deactivated and closed i'll explain just write the notes Ah, uh, is it over? Say init method. Init method loading time. Start method loading time activation time. 
पेंट मेथड लोडिंग टाइम एक्टिवेशन टाइम स्टॉप मेथड डीएक्टिवेशन टाइम क्लोजिंग टाइम ओके लास्ट वन डिस्ट्रॉय मेथड नोड डिस्ट्रॉय मेथड कॉल बाय ब्राउजर वेन एवर एप्लेटिस क्लोज डिस्ट्रॉय मेथड कॉल बाय ब्राउजर वेन एवर एप्लेट इज क्लोज फर्स्ट दिस वन आई एक्सप्लेन यू ऑब्जर्व टोटल फाइव मेथड्स आर देर फाइव मेथड्स आर देर एप्लेट साइड फाइव मेथड्स आर देर वेन इनिट मेथड कॉल बाय ब्राउजर वेन इनिट मेथड कॉल बाय ब्राउजर when our applet is loaded and uh, on loading time only uh, when app, uh, whenever uh, st start method when it is called loaded and activated uh, paint method loaded and activated uh, stop method deactivated and closed uh, destroy method closed uh, you observe suppose applet where it runs browser or server browser uh, suppose i'll open browser okay uh, now assume your browser is running assume your browser is running okay uh, now assume applet is running uh, now browser is running in that applet is running assume suppose i'll open notepad now applet deactivated again i'll open browser applet activated again i'll deact i'll open notepad then applet deactivated again i'll open browser applet activate applet activated if i minimize deactivated maximize activated if i wait on now now i'll ask question give me answer here i opened browser uh, applet program started applet program started uh, how many methods called load uh, init start paint three methods called three methods i minimized how many methods one method that is stop i maximized say one wait 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 once again i'll explain first lesson once again i'll explain lesson because this is okay this is outdated not required solid required solid program we are going to write uh, see now i opened browser uh, assume there is a applet now applet is running okay uh, now app activated running if i switch on other application then applet deactivated again if i click browser activated it is deactivated activated deactivated activated if i minimize deactivated if i maximize activated minimize deactivated activated if i click close button closed destroyed now give me answer applet very first time open uh, now three methods init start paint if i minimize one method stop if i maximize two methods start and paint uh, if i minimize again stop maximize start and paint minimize stop maximize if i close stop also stop and destroy stop and destroy uh, that is the reason i given like this ah uh, you observe i given arrows like this you observe
Uh, now, suppose applet loaded, applet loaded. How many methods? Init, start, pin. Uh, applet deactivated, stop. Applet activated, start and pin. Applet acti deactivated, stop. Activated, start and pin. Deactivated, stop. Activated, close it. Stop and destroy. Stop and destroy. That is the reason arrows are given like this. Got it? Okay. Uh, here, here, how many times init method called? Only one time. That is loading time. How many times destroy call? Only one time. While closing. Start, paint, stop many times. Depends upon your activation, deactivation, activation, deactivation. Okay. Uh, this is so applet side. Uh, now differences not completed. Tomorrow I'll continue. Uh, so, so the solid points tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow that is programming related tomorrow onwards. Okay. Uh, now online students, you can ask your doubts now. Running nodes also write it. I'll upload nodes, but running nodes also write that PDF files already prepared files are there. That is, I'll share. Yeah, installation part, I'll explain. Tomcat server installation plot, I'll explain. Uh, Oracle GDBC Roset, you are not getting error means you remove module info.java file. GDBC knowledge also required for Solid. Lab support contact number still I didn't get. So in Google Classroom, already 897 students are there. Still you didn't get Google Classroom link. Videos, rec recordings will not be provided. No recordings. Running nodes also not done because PDF files already prepared files. Yeah, JDBC knowledge also required for learning solids. Uh, Oracle 19, if it is not possible, go for Oracle 16 or 17 also, 12 also, 11 also. Uh, contact admin. Admin. Wait, admin. Now go inside. Okay. Yeah, you can join for spring class. Parallel, you can learn. Applet, solids, notes, I'll share. Okay, we'll see continuation tomorrow.